Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Precious and I'm a third year med student. And today I'm gonna to be making a video all about second year medical school. Um, advice, tips, resources, how to make it through, my experience through second year. Second year is one of the most difficult years of um, med school as well as um, third year. And you know, what makes second year so important is that at the end you take the step one exam. That's the first um, step of your license exam that you need for medical school. And it's pretty much a culmination of everything you learned in first year as well as second year with the emphasis is placed on second year material. So throughout first year um, or the beginning of first year, you're really learning how to become a med student. You're forming good study habits and hopefully those study habits will carry you through into second year. Um, first year, you're learning things like biochemistry. You're learning the normal processes of the human body, normal physiology. Second year, it's a focus on the diseases, how you treat those diseases, things like that. So second year, you typically take courses like pathology, pathophysiology, pharmacology, microbiology, um, things like that. So as you can imagine, there's a lot less free time in second year. So efficiency is so important because the course load is so much and you can't afford, afford to slack on any subject because all of those courses are so important um, during second year. My first piece of advice is to really not stress so much about step one, but really focus on doing well in your classes. I know that's easier said than done. As soon as you get in the second year, it's about step, step, step. That will come, but to do well on step, you to do well in your second year courses so preparing well for your courses doing well in your in your courses will prepare you for step one so in the beginning do not stress so much do not worry so much about step one so it's really important to build a foundation build that knowledge base you can't study for step without you know knowing the things that are taught in your second year so that is really the most important mastering the second year material and now i'm going to jump into what resources i use for the second year material so I feel like second year is the year of the resources. I hardly use any outside resources in first year, but second year there is so many resources to choose from. So it's important to choose the right ones and do not resource overload. So in the beginning of the second year, maybe a few weeks before it starts, maybe start reaching out to some upperclassmen, maybe search online, um, look at different forms and see what the best resources are, which is what I did. Um, Pathoma is a common one used. It's um, taught by Dr. Sitar. Um, he's an MD. He has video lectures as well as the text to go with it. So this is um, Pathoma. It's a pretty, um, it's a pretty thin book. Super, super high yield. The videos are great. I recommend um, going through all the videos, then going through this. Um, you can either pre-read this and then go to class and then watch the video after. Maybe watch the video before, go to class, then re uh, read that. Um, yeah, one of my books just fell over. But yeah, pretty much depending on how you want to do it. Either video first, then this. But yeah, great resource for pathology. My second resource for, uh, for pathology is Golion. He has audio lectures that are online. Um, he previously like taught a step one course and he has maybe about 30, 35 video lectures on every subject of pathology. They're about 50 minutes each. Um, I usually listened on my way to maybe class, coming back from class, um, you know, very high yield information. And he also has a book, this book right there. Um, rapid review pathology this is a great resource very thick so um but it's mainly like bullet points Let's see if i can get up close yeah this is a great resource his audio lectures which can be found online download them if you like um as well as this book for pathology so pathology is a very important course. It's a huge course. You learn so much information in this course, so many disease processes, um, and it's a huge part of step one. So it's important that you really solidify pathology throughout second year that you're using the right resources. So for me, Pathoma, Goldion Rapid Review, and there's also a resource that I not only use for um, pathology, but really for all subjects, and that's Boards and Beyond. It's um, similar to Pathoma, uh, pathoma but it doesn't just cover pathology you also have physiology on there microbiology pharmacology 
um, Pathophys. So they're video lectures for pretty much every single subject you can think of. Um, it's available online for purchase. I use that throughout second year and as well as through my dedicated um, step one studying. So if you're looking for a resource to maybe just um, follow along through the first year, I really recommend Boards and Beyond. Very detailed, great resource. Now the next subject is microbiology and hands down the primary resource that most students use and I feel is the best resource is Sketchy Medical. So pretty much this is just the PDF of what um, Sketchy is. So it's a video resource um, for microbiology as well as pharmacology. Um, it's a lot of memorization, like knowing all the bugs, you know, the viruses, bacteria, the fungi. It's just hard to remember. So what they do is they create visual aids and those visual aids tell a story. And while it's telling the story, it's describing whatever drug or bug um that you're learning and that pretty much helps you memorize that bug or drug so for mike uh for micro sketchy micro is my primary resource i really recommend um they have like a book that you can buy which has the pictures then you fill in um and write whatever description i recommend that because you can then go through it multiple times like I did the whole thing throughout second year and then um, I did it twice throughout second year um, and then I did it like another two times during my dedicated period of step studying and I was good with micro like this 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 resource is golden I highly recommend sketchy medical and as well as first aid I feel like first aid does an awesome job of um, of covering what's uh, what's needed for micro and then um, pharmacology, same. Not every, I don't feel like Sketchy is as good for pharmacology because the videos are just so long, but you have time to do it throughout second year. This is not something you start during your dedicated period of step one studying. Start this in the beginning of the year and I feel it'll be really um, beneficial. So I went through some of the sections throughout um, second year, not every single section, but during dedicated, I ended up going through every single um, section of of pharmacology and I just saw my scores improving because originally I didn't plan on you know going through the entire thing through dedicated time but I'm like hmm, I'm slacking in pharmacology after I started this back up sketchy medical my scores increased um so again it's just like the notebook uh, this is one drug. This right here is um, thiazides, um, you know, diuretics, and then it has the description of what they would be talking about in the video. Also, I would recommend first aid um, for pharmacology. Pharmacology is a difficult one because it's pretty much just rote memorization. You know, you need to know the mechanism of action, you need to know the side effects, you need to know the contraindications, you need to know um, the clinical use. So it's something you just have to do repetition. That's just what it is and I feel like Sketchy Medical is a great resource for that. Okay, we covered pathology, we covered microbiology, and we covered pharmacology. Um, those are the main subjects. And you also take pathophysiology. That one, I really don't have one primary recommended source because um, um, I use what the what my school recommended, uh, which was the textbook. That's what I use, and I also use Boards and Beyond. And again, I love Boards and Beyond. I started using it when um, pathophysiology began because we began pathophys like um, about two months after our initial courses started in August, just to let us, you know, get the feel for the other courses because those were enough. Let alone adding pathophys into it. And when pathophys started, I just felt like the wind got knocked out of me. Like that class was a lot. That's when I discovered um, Boards and Beyond and I never looked back. I continued using it throughout um, the school year. Um, I didn't do every single video because there are so many videos there, but for certain topics that I needed help in, like let's say anti-arrhythmics, um, for farm, I would go to um, I would go to like boards and beyond for that, or maybe just little subjects here and there. If you have time to do all of it, you can. Um, it's even useful for some of first year co uh, courses because they have stuff like genetics, biochemistry, just regular physiology on there. Um, so yeah, again, a great resource. All right, so now let's talk about first aid. Was considered the bible of medical school. Of course, every medical school uh, student is going to use this primarily in your second year some people get in their first year i started using it in second year um i spiral bounded um this and then i added tabs to it which i really recommend it's just easier to maneuver through and use um after you do that because you're going to be using it so much flipping back and forth being able to lay it down this way being able to just flip what you need to instead of going back to the beginning of the table of contents so just something um you know if you're thinking about doing i, I would probably do it 
Now, I didn't start using first aid right away because um, I wanted to actually learn the material first. And then this is a review book. It's not to learn, you know, it's it's a review book. And so I learned the material first in class, you know, um, use whatever textbook I needed, use whatever the resources I, I needed. And then this was a follow up to kind of solidify, um, to kind of, you know, make sure I'm actually understanding what's going on. But that's how, it, you know, it should be used. That's what our professors really told us. You know, you just can't go straight to first aid and try to learn, you know, pharmacology, pathophysiology and all that. You know, you build your foundation in the classroom and then, of course, use first aid as a review book. But I would recommend using it all throughout the year. It's very important to familiarize yourself with first aid, not just opening it up during dedicated um, step prep because it, it's a huge book, you know, so a lot of the information that's on step one you will get from first aid so of course it's a great resource so let me just summarize um the main resources of second year before i move into the next part um first aid pathoma sketchy medical and then i suggest having like one outside video resource that you can always turn to i just love having somebody explain something to me or have something as visual i just i just need that in my uh, my study process so that can either be something like boards and beyond it can be doctors in training also known as dit it can be osmosis which you can find on youtube it could be something like lectorio but i would say my primary one was boards and beyond and every now and then i would watch a dit video um you know it's just depending on what you like better but um yeah now let's talk about budgeting for your second year second year can get pricey first things first you have to pay for step one that's about a 600 hundred dollar exam that you're paying from your own money your school doesn't pay for it um second thing is your u world subscription that's the question bank that you're going to be using um you can use it throughout the year use it during dedicated that prepares you for step one in your courses that is about it's between 350 to 400 dollars depending on if you get like the six month per, uh subscription versus the one year thankfully our school provided a free subscription for us and then you're also going to be buying you know these resources things like sketchy medical first aid if you're going to subscribe to some video resources those things are not cheap so when you're doing your budgeting when you're requesting for your financial aid at the beginning of the year just keep in mind that you are going to have outside expenses for second year next second year is busy this is truly the year that you call a marathon from start to finish it is a lot and you are moving at a fast pace and at the end of second year it continues with now your dedicated um step one preparation so you have to take time for yourself you know your mental health your physical health spiritual emotional well-being do not neglect those things or you're gonna burn out very easily and you will suffer in the classroom so self-care take time to hang out with friends you know set up dates to go out with your friends and Sometimes it's hard being spontaneous in medical school, so just know that you have to plan things ahead, maybe after an exam block or, you know, maybe once a month just meeting up with somebody and doing something, but take time for yourself. Do not neglect yourself. Remember, it is a marathon. It is a long journey throughout second year. It's going to be tough. At times, you're going to feel overwhelmed, but just, you know, set those little times apart from yourself. And also another thing, um, yes, second year is a difficult year. It's a very busy year don't neglect things like eating healthy if that's what you did previously or working out if that's what you did before you know you you're a person you have a life and school is one part of your life it's a huge part of your life but you can't neglect the other things so just keep in mind that you need to be a well-rounded person because that's going to help you inside the classroom as well as outside the classroom in second year i feel like you have a lot of growth as a student um, first year, I feel like a lot of the material was kind of given to us. Second year, you're really, you start to become an independent lear learner. That's true for some of first year as well. But, you know, you already established those good study habits in first year. So those are going to carry on over to second year, hopefully, um, second year, hopefully. Um, now it's really about how you pick your resources you know how you're you know you're absorbing certain information and really becoming the best learner that you can be you know how you're able to adapt to change there's so many different courses that you're taking um you may have new responsibilities like clinical responsibilities in second year you typically start going to the hospital just to learn how to do the history and physical so that's another element being thrown at you so really it's about how well you really balance 
how well you're able to manage the time between um you know eventually you are going to have to start setting some outside outside time for step studying as well as also focusing on you know your in-class performance so it's important to learn that balance and um to not neglect one or the other so at the beginning of the second year, I feel like you should really come up with a game plan and set goals for yourself. Set goals about how you want to perform your classes, how well you want to do on um, step, and really challenge yourself throughout second year because it's going to need another level from you definitely than what was required in first year. So I feel like this uh, to have success in second year, you really need to have discipline, you need to have stamina because again, it is um, it is a marathon. You need to have great organization skills, you're balancing um, you know, so many different classes, you're studying for step um you know you have clinical responsibilities um depending on how your school sets that up so you know you have to just be a well-rounded student you know, of course you already knew that coming into medical school but it just takes another level out of you in second year of course if you're overwhelmed if you're ever confused about something reach out to your professors reach out to your classmates you guys are all going through the same thing and another piece of advice i can give you do not let your classmates freak you out i feel like when second semester arrives everybody is going crazy like oh my gosh step is this semester is coming up they start doing all this and that just stay in your lane um know that you're going to be okay don't wait too late to start your step prep um that can be another video later but Again, throughout the year, focus on doing well on your courses, build your foundation, pick the right resources, and you'll be okay. All right, guys, so I hope this video wasn't too long. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I hope that answered um, some of the questions or concerns that you may have about second year, if you'll be starting soon or if you'll be starting next year. Um, if I didn't answer any question or if you still have some questions about second year, just leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer that for you. Um, if this was helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.